guys welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to do some sorrel ice cream and I am trusting that it's gonna taste good um, for this recipe guys you will need coconut whipping cream a can of coconut sorrel I'm using one pound of sorrel some raisins you will need some cinnamon sticks some mace that's the outer part of the nutmeg sugar and salt if you want to continue watching this video guys don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment if you like it and subscribe to the channel now guys um you are going to need an ice cream machine just to churn the ice cream just to get it that much more creamier if you don't have an ice cream machine guys it's not a problem you can use a hand mixer and achieve a nice consistency just the same now what we're going to do we're going to sieve our sorrel um, in just a little bit of water because we don't want too much water all right guys so let's go move over to the pot all right guys so to our pot i'm using two cups of water we're going to add in the cinnamon and the mace we want this flavor of the cinnamon to kind of um extract out before we add in the sorrel as soon as those flavors you start to smell them then we put in the sorrel all right guys let's take a look and as you can see the color of the water has changed so i'm going to add in my sorrel return your covers guys we want to seep the sorrel because we are going to get the most from this sorrel because we want the consistency of the liquid to be very thick all right so stick around guys let's take another look guys and as you can see how much the soil has shrunken right this is how i want you to get it right now we're going to leave it to cool down before we even attempt doing anything to it all right so leave it far on like an hour, a hour and a half for it to cool over all the way down now that our soil has fully cooled and i'm going to show you how nice and rich the soil becomes right like when you when you steam most of the sorrel guys with less water the sorrel becomes very rich in texture so what i'm going to do now as you can see i'm straining most i want to strain all of my liquid from this all right we're going to return to the stove with this guys and kind of reduce it a little bit so we want to make like a nice syrup so we're going to add back this mixture to a pot bring it down a little bit guys not too much because remember ice cream don't like too much water all right so we're going to just reduce this down a little bit more all right guys this is the reduction of the sorrel you see how nice and rich it is now to achieve this consistency after you reduce it down on the stove a bit and you put it to cool this is the consistency you end up with like a jelly all right so we're going to whip together now the coconut cream and the whipping cream now you want to whip it until it reach a stiff peak at this time we're going to add in the syrup gradually i'm gonna be adding all of my reduction you can see the lovely color that it's getting and guys you have the option now if you want to add in food coloring you can improve the color by adding food coloring i think this color is nice enough for me yes, go ahead. and guys it's making a girl color for you guys and it's and it's purple so you have to tone it and see if it's going to turn red or yellow or purple so i'm going to add my mixture here to my ice cream machine and churn it for around 25 minutes Alright guys, so now I'm going to add in some raisins and some of my 
sorrel puree here just to give it some color the raisins are optional all right now guys this is after 25 minutes let me show you the consistency of my ice cream so far not very nice and rich look at that now i'm going to pour it out in my container here look at that wow and it's so flavorful So after we get all of my ice cream in this container guys, I'm going to put the cling wrap. See how I lay my cling wrap down on the ice cream. I'm going to add it to the freezer now for a few hours and return. Took my ice cream out of the freezer guys and would you look at that. How amazing this looks. Guys, I'm telling you. If you're making your ice cream and you feel like you want to put um, some pieces of fruit cake in it, go right ahead. I think that would be amazing. All right, so we are going to scoop out the ice cream. I am so excited about this. The consistency is just right. It's not too hard and it's not too soft. It's perfect. Guys, look at that. Would you look at that? Oh my God. So perfect. Now make sure you have some hot water, guys, because I think you get a better scoop with this um, scoop. Look at that. Oh my goodness. I'm so proud. I want you guys to try it and look at the speck of sorrel and uh, my raisins there. Oh my gosh. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Let me give it a taste. Oh my God, guys. Mm. This I give like a good 10 out of 10. I don't toot my own hand, guys, but trust me, it bad. Mm -mm. You have to give this a try. And let me know. Phenomenal. Oh my God. You know, you can garnish it with some strawberries or if you have fresh, if you have sorrel, you can always garnish it with something nice and fresh right yes guys thank you so much for watching this video until next time bye, bye. <laughs>